going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Chris on the show today, my friends. We are reviewing Jim and Nick's original barbecue sauce and Jim and Nick's dry rub. We will be putting them on some St. Louis style ribs, throwing them on the pit barrel cooker. I hope it's going to be tasty, tasty. Y'all stick around. All right, we're going to go with some French's mustard. We're going to put it on the ribs. That's just going to be a binder to hold the rub on. If you put the mustard on it, you won't taste it. You're only going to taste the rub. A lot of people are like, oh, why you put that mustard on your ribs? It's just to help keep that rub on it. And don't rub your rub. Just because it says rub, Discard that. <laughs> if you rub it, you're just going to end up with it on your hands. It's wasteful. So let's go ahead and get some mustard on here. And mustard has vinegar in it. And that's going to help keep your ribs tender. At least that's my belief. I know Chris says so, so it must be true. <laughs> I know you're like, ah, dog, your ribs look all yucky and yellow. <laughs> it's all good. You'll see what I'm talking about here in just a minute. Okay, I've got the mustard on it now. We're gonna heat it up with some black pepper. I love pepper on my ribs. You put what you want on yours. But I'm gonna hit it with this black pepper. Spice it up. That's looking good. Looks like I dropped them in the dirt, don't it? <laughs> All right, like I said today, we're cooking with this uh, Jim and Nick's barbecue dry rub season. They have really good barbecue at their restaurant, but I wanted to try to do my own ribs. Uh, their ribs are okay. I'm gonna leave it at that. Their barbecue pork is delicious, but the ribs mm, might need an eye to Chris touch. <laughs> so we're gonna heat it up with their rub today and their sauce and see how they come out. And you can go kind of heavy with this rub. It's not gonna hurt nothing. So don't be scared to put it on there. A lot of people just sprinkle it lightly and you're gonna lose a lot of that flavor because it's gonna cook off because the fat in this rib when it starts rendering down, it's going to melt a lot of that rub away. So, just like that. And as these ribs sit here for the few minutes that they will be sitting out, it's going to make this rub wet and it's going to soak it into the rib. So, that's important too. Let's go ahead and flip it over and get the other side. Heating it up again with some black pepper. Got a little bit of black pepper on there. Delicious. Then we're gonna come back with the dry rub, Jim and Nick's. Put a nice even coat on there. And these ribs are gonna smoke in the pit barrel cooker for about two hours. And that's gonna be it with some apple wood today. All right, I'm gonna let that sit there for a few minutes and let it get good and moist. That dry rub's gonna get wet and it's gonna soak into that ribs and then we're gonna throw it on that pit barrel cooker. So y'all stay tuned. Being we're using the pit barrel cooker today, we're going to be hanging the ribs. I'm not going to be laying them on a rack, so we got one of our hooks right here. And if you got a pit barrel cooker, you want to go down about two bones deep. And that's where you want to stick your hook at. So you get it in there just like that. And that's how it's going to hang in the pit barrel. So let's go get the wood started and the coals and get these ribs hanging. And we'll be cooking. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we got that Jim and Nick's barbecue dry rub on here. It's been sitting for about three four minutes and you see it's liquefied see what I'm talking about how it all got wet that meat just pulled that rub into it it's time to go put it on the pit barrel and let's get these ribs to smoking all right as you can see down there the coals are good and ashed over in the pit barrel cooker ready to put these ribs on there we got a hook right there and we're gonna be hitting them up today with some apple wood so let's get the ribs in there first
Okay, YT family, we just got these up off the pit barrel cooker after two and a half hours. As you can see, they are looking yummy delicious. Now we went today, as you know, we hit the Jim and Nick's barbecue, original barbecue sauce, and their barbecue dry rub. We was gonna give it a taste today and see how it come out on our ribs. I've had their ribs at their restaurant, and they're okay. But they, I'll be honest with you, they was a little on the tough side. The flavor was good. So I decided to bring it home, their seasoned rub today, and their sauce, and put it on my own ribs. Put it in my pit barrel cooker with some applewood instead of hickory. And that's what they come out looking like. So we're gonna cut up one now. And let's give it a try. All right, let's cut one off the, off the rack here, my friends. You see how it's cutting right through that meat very nice and easy. Tender delicious, y'all. It's that pit barrel cooker for you. Try not to burn my hands, it's extra hot. Ooh, that's just off the pit and it is hot my friends as you can see right there looking very very juicy let's give it a bite mmm that's so good y'all I might could teach them a couple things maybe they should hire me as their pit master <laughs> I bring my pit barrel up there um, that is super tender the difference in this rib and the rib that they had at their restaurant is that you bite on it and it was like chewy, couldn't pull it off the bone. You should better bite it and pull it clear off the bone like that. Now you may be asking yourself, are you going to eat all those ribs I know, Chris? Why, well, yes, I am. <laughs> I might share them with somebody if somebody wants some. But if it's up to I know, Chris, I'll eat this whole rack by myself. These are St. Louis style ribs. These were Smithfields. And they were pretty lean today. I didn't have to do much trimming on them, so that was a good thing. But what we're here about is this Jim and Nick's barbecue original sauce. I have to say, if you want to pick some up, some good barbecue sauce, this original sauce is extra delicious. And this barbecue uh, rub of theirs, the first time using it, and I swear I've tried a bunch, but this is delicious. It's not too over salty and not too spicy. It's just right. You can taste the garlic in it. You can taste the chili pepper in it, some brown sugar. It's really good. I highly recommend it. This was about $4 at their restaurant. And this bottle of barbecue sauce, I think it's about the same thing, 4 or $5. So that knife goes right through it. If your knife cuts right through it like that, mm -mm, somebody did something right. Let's take a big bite. Comes right off the bone. Mm, delicious. No fight in the rib. Mm, that is some kind of good job. Mm, 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 mm. So you don't want to go to eat ribs and have a wrestling match with it. You want to better enjoy yourself. You're not pull your false teeth out if you got those. Wow, that's so good. Now one other trick I did do today is I put some apple juice on these ribs about an hour in. I kind of based them with that. Other than that, mm -mm. it was all that pit barrel cooker. Well, let me clean my face off and we'll wrap this video up. Well, that's going to do it, my friends. I hope y'all enjoyed this cook today. Something a little different. Like I said, it was all about the Jim and Nick's original barbecue sauce and their dry rub. And they both get two thumbs up from I Know Chris. I highly recommend both of them. And until the next time, my friends, I need you to do one thing for me. Hit that subscribe button. Our channel is steadily growing. We're almost at 10K. Uh, every time I look, we're, we're getting an extra 10 or 20 uh, subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you did like the content, give me a big thumbs down to wide. If you didn't like it, leave a comment down below. Until the next time, my friends, y'all stay safe. And as always, keep tubing.